So it's about 24 minutes after 3 on Saturday, and these are some of the guests from Dorian in our backyard. So the wind has changed directions and we're getting the back side of the storm now. I don't know what's going on, but there's still a lot of wind out there. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the day after Dorian. Yeah, Dorian the Hurricane just passed over Nova Scotia here and uh, hit about a Category 2. Not in our area. We're quite a ways away from the uh, eye of the storm, but we did get some pretty hefty gusts in our, in our area, that's for sure. I'm just going to show you a little bit of our property and uh, the new decorations that we have thanks to Dorian. So this is just uh, coming out of my house. Leaves everywhere. Park the cars around behind the house to protect them. Actually to protect the pool from flying debris. And now they have new decor as well. Leaf camouflage I would say. <laughs> Didn't lose any shingles on the house, but the property got redecorated with leaves. Not the kind that you find in the fall that are all dried up and red and, and yellow and orange and different colors, but they're all green. There's the driveway full of sticks and leaves. And at the end of my driveway, beyond the road, is usually a pasture. But now we have Lake Waterville. So I have to say we are very blessed that we got no damage. We didn't even lose a single shingle. But we have no power. We have no internet, and uh, we are much better off than a lot of people who came, uh, came up against this storm. So uh, I have to be very, very grateful for the protection that we got. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, so here's a little view of the uh, windshield on the inside of Frias before I pack it up for my surf trip. Few leaves on the uh, windshield, eh? <laughs> so you have to excuse the scruffy face today without power. I'm not having a shave with cold water, and it doesn't matter. I'm going surfing anyhow. So <laughs> you don't have to look good to go surfing, I don't think, do you? Uh, so we're going to have some fun today. Hopefully there'll be some people there. I don't know who's there, who's where, because I have no internet, no power. I'm going down. I know the forecast was showing like three, four, five foot waves for today and uh, the sun's gonna come out, it's coming out now and the wind's gonna die off so uh, good conditions for beginner surfers I hope and uh, we'll see what we get when we get there off to Mavs so I think I found the reason why we have no power those lines aren't supposed to be like that and this is the reason why. That big tree over there is a victim of Dorian. And I'd say half of it came down on our power lines and phone lines and cable lines and every other line that's hanging on there. She's a mess, boys. And this is just up around the corner from my house. Power lines down, branches everywhere. Dorian definitely, definitely knocked on our door. Some more devastation from Dorian. And you can tell that was a big branch. We got some serious winds up here, folks. A lot of people without power in our province today. And this is part of the reason why. Another victim. It wasn't a good day to be a tree in Nova Scotia yesterday. 
I just heard on the radio over 370,000 customers out of power here in Nova Scotia today. Yep, we got it bad. It's awesome. The shop's still here. It didn't blow away. Well, I'm still here, man. And look who's here. Yeah. You're open. Barely. <laughs> How you doing, anyhow, buddy? Oh, not bad, not bad. It didn't blow away. I, the ratchet strapped it to the, to the earth for the storm. So. Way to go. It, Smart. It did shift a little. Things got knocked around a little bit, but uh, everything's all right. If you hadn't have strapped it, it probably would have. It might have blown a little further than it did. Yeah. Awesome. Glad to see it's still here. Yeah. So I've made it here to Mavalette Beach once again, the day after Dorian. And as you can see, it's not really giving us a whole lot. The way the lay of the land is here, Dorian really didn't fire up this area of Nova Scotia. But I knew there'd be some friends out to surf with, and I'm going to go out and surf with them. we got Jody and Christian and Gabby here, so I'm going to go out and see if we can catch a few waves. I was hoping to get my first bottom turn in today on some three or four footers, but it looks like maybe we've only got two or three footers at the most. So we'll see what we can uh, do with them. We'll make the best of them and still have fun. just did the camera reset. I got to do that every 20 minutes or so. Got a little bit of a cliff bar and some water to wash that old salt out of my mouth. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to help or not, but let's see if we can do something. Uh, I haven't had much luck yet.
as the tide comes in so I don't lose it. <laughs>
<laughs> what? Any last words, Jody? Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> That's what happens when you're out for eight hours. <laughs> Jody the beast. <laughs> hey, everybody. So it's the day after the day after Dorian. And we just had a good surf session yesterday. And worked up a big appetite. Still got no power. So what do we do for breakfast? Uh, well, come out and barbecue some toast. Why not? Here we go. We're going to fire up the old barbecue and get our toast on. Why not? So let's see in a few minutes how the toast turns out. So it's about four minutes in. Let's take a look at this toast. See what we got here. Not bad. Look at that! Some nice lines in that toast, what do you say? Yeah! Okay, we're going to toast the other side and that'll be it. Okay, a couple more minutes on the other side. Let's see what this puppy looks like now. Lovely! Lovely! Turn the old barbecue off. Well folks, thanks very much for watching this video. And to all the people out there who got hit by Dorian, God bless you. And to all the people working on getting our power back, take care out there, work safe, and uh, thanks for all your efforts. I know this video's not World Surfing League <laughs> content, but it's just me chronicling my uh, experience of learning how to surf as a 56-year-old. Uh, actually started when I was 54. Uh, and you'll just see my progress. Uh, like I say, it's not that exciting, but we're having fun. We're getting great exercise. So once again, thanks for watching my videos, folks. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.